what we do, it's not, it's not just about music. It's kind of like building a community for people to just come in and be themselves and not have to feel awkward or different because everyone in this, everyone who's performed with us is all here because of the same reason. They love music. When I think about WCC and how big of a family they are to me, I think I can do this. They're a huge part of family in my life. Without them, I don't know where I would be. Singing and the WCC is important to me because every single day I practice singing in the car, at home, even at school. The quality of the music is incredible, um, and these kids work very hard to, to, to learn to sing, to sing at this level. I think it's a wonderful thing that the um, Women and Children's Choir, or WCC, is, is, is free, and I'm sure it helps a lot of families out there that want their kids to, to do something in life, but they can afford it, and we'll, um, the WCC is doing that for us. I like that you can make new friends, the teachers are really nice, they understand when you make a mistake, and all the people around you, you can learn from them too. Not only is it where you can like become a lot better singer, like if you're having a bad day, you can always come to rehearsal and forget about what happened. I see structure, right, structure and discipline and kind of respect for others and respect for leaders and authority figures. Well, I've learned to be nice to people, which is very, which is very big for me. Like, I'm so nice to people now. And I help little kids more, and I normally wasn't a little kid person, but I'm starting to become one more because I have to help out with all the other kids in the choir. It's just been lots of incidents like that where you, you get the shivers when you listen to people when you listen to this group sing. I felt like we were the VIP to sing to Vice President Biden. He was so pleased that we were singing to him. We got a chance for sing to the Vice President like in front of him on the opening of the new rail station railroad station. And it was just amazing. These are just over-the-top, wonderful opportunities that the kids have had. And uh, so they learned that they, you know, not only are they citizens of Wilmington or this area of the United States, they're learning how to kind of take their place in the world and the larger global community. It blew my mind. I've never been on a plane, I've never left the country, and of course I dreamed of, oh, when I'm 65, I'm gonna go to Europe. Yeah, I did that at the age of 19. So it was, it was really, it was a cultural explosion for me. Um, different cultures in terms of, um, she's been able to sing in Hebrew, sing in Arabic, learn about those cultures, not just the musical part of it, but what those cultures and what it represents. I think that's been important for her. It's just something I've, like, I've always loved to do and it's opened up so many doors for me. WCC, it brought responsibility to my life. So I have to work hard, I have to challenge myself as far as vocal ranges and memorization of songs, and it kind of makes me a better person. Um, I just like being around, surrounded by kids that like to do the same exact thing I like to do, which is singing. They help us encourage and improve our singing if we make a mistake. Um, musically, she's blossomed in the two years here. Also, it gives him the confidence to be in front of a large audience. Um, and many people are afraid to be in front of a stage, and that helps build that character in him. She's building friendships here with people with the same interests and I think a lot of those friendships are going to last a really long time. A lot of schools are dropping music and we need to keep music persisting in children's lives. But I love it. It's like you go to their concerts and you hear these amazing voices and it's just like I don't care what race you are. It's something that I look forward to keep doing years after years. I feel like I'm part of a supportive network being in WCC. I love doing it. Like, I'd, I wouldn't be any place in the world on Saturday morning but with the choir.